Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, right, we have been here a couple more days now. Um, there's been lots and lots going on, um, so I've not recorded that because I thought I'm a bit all over the place as, it's, as it states. Um, right, thanks for subscribing. If you haven't, links in the corner as usual, you know, blah de blah de blah as usual, waffling on. Um, so, if there is blood on face, I've had a nosebleed today and it's stopping at the minute no idea why it is what it is I've, I've probably not had one for 10 years something like that so today of all days it is what it is so stevie's put the door lining in let's just run through what we've been doing so door lining's gone in um first fix electrics are pretty much there now um so we've got we've got a it's, it's a tall larder unit it's going to go there Couple of units, sinks over over here. Um, so we've got a plinth heater, so we're gonna control it from this point here. Now, like I say, we've been running around doing loads of different bits and bobs. So we're we've bit all over the place on the house. So this is what I haven't shown you. So so I just thought I'd keep you give you a little run through. So just the other side of this wall here, there's a downstairs loo. So luckily enough, the sink is actually just here. So what we've done is underneath there, basically down there, there's a four inch uh, pipe that's got a reducer on it for a 32 mil uh, to take the sink. So what we've done, we've took that out uh, and we've put a 40 mil solvent in uh, and then altered the rest of it going up to the sink and then branched off for my hot and cold so ready for our sink. So this is just in a, at the minute as a temporary, just in case any anything flows this way it's not sold soldered on or anything so it's just going to come out now these cables here just the other side of this wall there's a double socket uh, so what i'm going to what i've done is i'm going to run a 16 um uh radial circuit because it actually controls that and then we found this other, the other cable controls of uh, one of the sockets upstairs so I thought, I just know what, I'm gonna run it in a little 16, because there is gonna be loads of alterations as time goes on, so at least that way, I'm gonna bring them through into the unit. Uh, I can put, um, I can do the connections and stuff in there, and, because they're all going. That, there's a few spur there, which then that leads off, goes through into the kitchen. Like I say, the future plans, the kitchen's all gonna be knocked about, so that will eventually go. Um, so yeah, so but the other day, bit of an interesting one. For the first time in, how long have we been doing this? 15 years, give or take. I actually got stuck. Gen genuinely, 100% got stuck. I have never ever got myself stuck in the building. So that was an experience. And what it was, is this here is, uh, they've just used it for vent pipe because there's an extractor fan that obviously draws for um, the downstairs loo. Now the previous person, to be on, to be fair to them, I've said it's a garage and they put an access panel on it. It's all labelled up. It's actually behind that plasterboard there. So anyway, you used to have like a bit of a configuration and it, it broke the ring and it's fed off to all various different bits and bobs, uh, leading off all the way around and all the rest of it. So. I don't want that there, so that's going to go because I'm going to put the new consumer unit's going to go in here. This is what all these new tails are for this new room because the board is actually the other side. That's going to be extended and brought to here. So, either way, I thought I'll be clever, push my hand in because one of the cables I just couldn't quite get to it from this 100mm hole, so I wanted a bit closer. Push my hand in, uh, and you know that point of terrible point of no return and, I, and that was it I was well and truly stuck so I'm, I'm on steps well and truly stuck so good job that uh, like I say Jack was here uh, and Steve was actually here he had to go and fetch Steve and he had to chisel me out so I actually thought if I if I was on my own like today I'd have to ring the fire brigade <laughs> to get get me to get me out of the house so what an idiot um, but yeah such is life so so yeah, so we've got the extractor fan cord out up here, so that I've just got to put some ducting in. Um, there's, this is the feed for, for that, so we've sorted that bits out. 
Jack has been sorting out some uh, cabling for the outside lights now which all leads up to this whisker box up here which is now going to be altered because we want to be able to control um, we want there's some down lights I'll tell you what, I can show you can't I save it rather than explain it so as it stands right now we've got uh, some cannon lights up and down lighters that all on the front uh, and they they are switched from the hallway but also they are controlled by a dust till dawn sensor we don't want that they want to literally just be able to control them from the switch so that's easy enough so that's coming off um, and then around here so it's got the address on it i'll hide that um, so these three down lights here why they needed three in there it's mental so we're going to change that one for a pir and then change those two on um for a yeah pir and then another two two down lights basically it's just so we haven't got to redo it and then we're going to power that by a few spur back over there somewhere um so in here we're going to put two strip lights in run it in all in conduit in this bit it's going to be a bit of a like workshop area so yeah that's where we're at um I've got a bit of plumbing to sort out today uh, and then just make sure that everything else is all done and dusted but I just wanted to give you a bit of an update of where we're at so so yeah so what I'll do I think for me I just want to finalize the uh, first fix now but I want to point something out to you this is completely my fault not Jack's fault um, well actually why am I on about of course it's Jack's fault it's not my fault he's not here as you can tell so the plan slightly changed in here with layouts so as you can probably see with having these plugs here they slightly changed so we need to move them so i asked jack to move them and because i was running around sorting all the plumbing and bits and bobs out i've sort of left jack to it and that again it's not jack's fault it's it's me not shadowing him properly uh in some ways but to be fair he's you know he did a, a he did what he thought was best, but I've had to alter them today because they weren't level. And I was trying to explain to him that the importance of having all these completely level, um, just on tiling, from the second fixed po point of view, because they were, it wasn't much, but it was like 10 mil too uh, high that way and 10 mil too low that way uh, on those ones. But this is, I said to Rang Steve today, is that I've, had, I've got to sort that out because again it's my fault for not shadowing him so but ultimately we all know it's jack so when you watch this jack your fault this so uh so yeah so i thought i'd uh, do a little video show you what i'm up to um i think what i'll do is i'll finalize all these little bits and then i'll catch up with you and show you what i've been up to right so up here is where all the like the wiring all leads out to so like I say, I've not done any of the these electrics here, and to be fair, the Sparky, that everything I've seen so far that that has been altered here, they've done a good job. So what I'm going to do is because because all this bit here is going to be boarded, okay? So it's all going to be enclosed because there's a big steel here, uh, which is there. So there's a big steel. Don't exactly know what it's doing because I get my hand right over the top of those. So the only thing I can think of is it's to take some of the bounce out of the, the timbers, I suppose, I don't know. But anyway, so what that from that box up there, it leads through the garage uh, down to that one uh, and then comes back round there via a um, dust till dawn. Now that socket there, because I wasn't here on day one, that was when they had the garage door on, the actual garage door itself had lights built in it or something so that's what that's that was for so i've took down the down lights at the front um which is here so this is my uh switch live and uh, neutral and that's they've put a single earth in there um that's original like i say all this has been done by another sparky so we're changing all these down lights anyway um so like I say, that everywhere that I've gone, they're putting Wago boxes on and stuff. So, you know, fair play to the bloke, to be honest. Um, so what, I think this one, the fathomed out now, I think that one, because that then that leads into 
the house has changed to twin and earth and then that leads to there's a, a light just there so that's what that's for so my plan is now is to extend these because this is my switch live in neutral extend those out into there let's go back around here and then if i can i'm going to want i'm going to try and move all that like a all that wiring into that corner up there so you'll have to wish me luck trying to get actually up there so that's what i'm going to try and do because all this has been boarded out so yes i know it's all maintenance free and all the rest of it and that's fine but for all i know they might want some more stuff adding on and it's going to be an all being switched from there so it's just going to be easier so that's what i'm planning on doing so wish me luck right i just wanted to show you the glamorous side of being an electrician you know, they say, you know, don't get involved too much. The, you know, not easy job, that one. Yeah, try climbing over all this lot. So I'm climbing over all these boxes, clambering through here. I'm like a mountain billy goat here. So I'll climb through all this, so, and I'm still not going to... Cables are all down there behind unit, so... At least I can get to that one, but it's going to be a bit of a stretch. So I'm going to give it a go, but... Just wanted to show, you know, the rock and roll lifestyle of Sparks have you know right cables are all through um we'll put some fire seal in there uh these ones going to be redundant so we're going to rip all those out they travel all the way down there uh, and then this cable that jack put in the other day we'll clip that all the way down to that far end and just neaten that up um yeah so we've there was an old light fitting up here uh, so that's all gone and way goed up so yes, that so that point there. So we're going to run this in um, some 20 mil conduit and just get it in nice and neat, right up to the top. Um, so I think I'm going to focus on this side because <laughs> I ain't going to be able to get down that end to do that. So what I'll do is I'll have to leave that all on a first fix at the minute until we can move some of the boxes because I'm just it's just going to be impossible to get to get down that end. Uh, to do anything of a neat job and really I want to have the socket switch essentially down that side and then the opposite side I want them all level across the room so um, but yeah so that's what I'm going to get up to now so I'll clip that up um, and then I'll sh take you out to the down lights and show you what how I'm going to leave those for now right so here's the, the down lights how I'm going to leave it for now because they're all in the first fix so that that is uh the switch spur to uh well to from the switch spur to here and then this is my outgoing which is going to be uh pir here uh and they were running single so i've just put a bit of copex on uh not connected up for now because obviously i don't want anything going uh voltage wise so i'll just tuck that up in there for now and then so these are all dead so that's basically how i'm leaving it for now like i said i'll go and get um I'll go and get the rest of the materials and stuff uh, later, but I'll, I just want to make sure that I can get uh, all the electrics and plumbing and stuff sorted so the rest of the lads can board that room and um, so I can just crack on with the other internal stuff. But yeah, so that's how I'm going to leave it at the minute. So let's just shove that up there for now. That's the one that's going to cause any potential issues so we'll get that up like you say all out of the way then in it so let's go in there it's just like to rain it's miserable right so what i've been up to um is i've moved all these over so that i believe that pipe up there is uh, a over pressurization valve or oh, pipe sorry so i've relocated it around the door uh yes it's gonna to have to i think we're gonna to have to box that in the top bit because i don't think we're gonna be able to get over it and if and if because it's all going to be boarded over there so we might just make that head a little bit bit bigger and then there's going to be from this point here there's going to be a unit hiding this lot i think um because i've got the main gas line and stuff coming in like that anyway so but yeah so part of the ocd struck again so i've had to sort that out just 
drove me mad, so I thought, oh, I'm gonna do that, even though that's gonna be pretty much redundant now, which is a frost at, it's gonna be redundant pretty much, because obviously it's, it, this is now no longer a garage, it's gonna be obviously a, a room. So yeah, I'm probably, it's all plumbers, if plumbers are watching this, probably the messiest plumber in the world. Scatter gun with kit everywhere, I'll just can't help it, just leave it lying around. Um, so I'll say the first fix is pretty much sorted now, I've just, those tails there, I'm going to sort those bits out now uh, and try and get them down into the other side of that boxing in uh, and try not to get stuck in the wall because like I say, I am on my own today so if I do, that's going to be an awkward conversation I reckon. So that's what I'm going to be up to now uh, until I go because um, I haven't got that much time left to be honest because I've got to I can't be late today. So yeah, so that's what, what I thought I'd just show you where we are. Like I said, I've got the condensed pipe um, out, which I'm going to show you out here. Just so I explain myself. Explain, so if your plumber's kicking off, then you know why, you know? So the condensed pipe's come through, so I've core drilled it through. Now, it's going to be out here for now. How it was run before, you see where that bit is there? It was just come off and went straight into the downpipe there with, I don't know what the hell you call that. It was just taped in and all sorts, because it was run through the internal work on the garage. So, because the kitchen is all gonna be redone, now, what we've, this doorway here is gonna be bricked up as part and parcel of this job. And then there's the internal wall just there, that's gonna be knocked out and then the kitchen's gonna be extended. So what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna temporarily run that. I think we're gonna drop it down and then run it all the way along back into that bodge job, I think. And then when the kitchen is, well, when perhaps when that is bricked up, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna do this, whether I'm gonna do the full bodge job or I'm gonna bring it back inside and, and go through once that's bricked up. But obviously I can't leave that like this, so, um, so that's why we're, we're doing this at the minute. So it is, it's a bit of a job to know what's the best course of action. But either way, for today, I definitely needed to make sure that was outside, not inside, um, for various reasons. But uh, but yeah, so like I say, the valve on the outside now. So as it was before, it was coming out of what is the new doorway. Um, so it's all sleeved up, all fire cement on there, or fire silicon. Uh, on there so it's all sorted so yeah so that's what we're up to so do you know what the thing I'm going to do is I will quickly show you once I've done that bit uh, unless if you don't hear from me it's because I got stuck so good news for me bad news for you I didn't get stuck so I've got those cables in now um, I've realized that I've had to get all the timber in, some other bits and bobs from outside, which I forgot that was out there. Um, so yeah, so that's me done pretty much for today. Um, like I say, I've had a massive clear up, swept up like a good sparky, and left there for, a, for someone else. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do, um, I'll, I'll leave it there now, and I've got to go to the supplier um, to go and grab some more materials for tomorrow. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and I shall catch you tomorrow. Cheers guys.